In this lesson, you'll learn about burning directly to a Blu-ray burner. You'll also see how to save a Blu-ray image to your hard disk that can then be burnt to a Blu-ray burner at a later date and then allow you to make copies. And you'll also burn a short Blu-ray movie onto conventional DVD media. This session is going to look at exporting to a Blu-ray disc. If we look at the share menu, you see that you have the Blu-ray option here. Now, one of the interesting things about Blu-ray is that you can burn a small or a short movie to about 30 minutes onto a standard DVD, which will play in a Blu-ray player. So we're going to have a look at both of these choices at blue, using the Blu-ray disc as a Blu-ray disc. And to do that, you will need to have a Blu-ray burner attached to your computer. If you do have a Blu-ray burner attached to your computer, this is what you will see. We'll drag the Blu-ray into the preferences and you'll see there that the Blu-ray player is available for you to record to. If you don't have a Blu-ray recorder attached to your computer, you can record to a DVD disc and the process is the same. So we will follow through from here with the DVD disc and you'll be able to use those same instructions to burn directly to Blu-ray. So selecting Blu-ray, we can see here currently only a DVD player is selected or connected to the computer so we can't burn a full-size blu-ray disc but we can burn a project of about 30 minutes maximum to a dvd and the dvd player attached to the computer is shown here in our choices we can select what how many layers that the dvd is single or dual layer or leave it on automatic i suggest you leave it on automatic these disc templates are a number of background images that will show in the menu on the Blu-ray disc. I'll come back to those in a second. We can either play the movie or show the menu. In this case, we're going to want to show the menu so that people can choose between what they want to play on the DVD. Or you could simply have play movie selected, which means when the DVD is put into the DVD player, the movie automatically plays with no menu showing. So we'll select the show menu, include the loop movie button. That's in other words, if you have a movie in there, it will continue to loop, which you might have happening at a trade show where the movie keeps playing from beginning to end and then goes back to the beginning and plays through as a loop. So we'll turn that off. We can add background images to the menu so if we click on the add here we can go to our finder and we can select in this case it's a photoshop image it will start to create the file for the blu-ray once the file is created it will then ask you to insert the dvd media into the dvd recorder and it will burn that Blu-ray image and allow you to use the Blu-ray on a Blu-ray player attached to your television. To burn a full Blu-ray disc, you can save the image to your hard disc and then with Toast and a Blu-ray burner attached to your computer, you can then burn the full Blu-ray disc. To do this, we would go to our share menu, selecting Blu-ray, and then to the settings. And currently, the DVD player attached to this computer is showing. But we can select the hard disk, which will allow us to create the full Blu-ray onto that disk. Now, let's have a look while we're here at adding the other features to the Blu-ray. As you see, we can select chapter markers here and include the loop movie button, as we've seen before. Now we can add a background to our Blu-ray disc. 
by selecting the add background and then looking for an image. If we go to our pictures folder and select a background image, let's select the frog image here and selecting that and opening it, then you'll see that that image has been included on the background of the DVD. Here it is showing it as the frog image. If we should want to replace that, we can delete it here. We can add a logo. We'll add this image here. And so the logo image is added at the right hand side here and we can add a title graphic. And if we go to this JPEG here, then you'll see that that has replaced the background because the background is currently set at white. We can have the background set at any of these pre options here. Black perhaps looks nice. And there is the image set there. So that's what our main menu would look like on the DVD with a play button, a loop button, and the chapter menu will look like this with the frog menu as the background to the chapter image. From here, all we need to do now is select next, and that will take us to our computer. We can set onto the hard disk or any location. So we could put it onto one of the external disks. In this case, we'll just put it to the desktop and then that image now will be saved to the desktop. If we look here at the monitor, we will see that sharing is happening and it's currently transcoding that file and it's gone at 42% of that sharing. And once that's on the hard disk, as I say, then you can use Toast or another application to burn it to your dedicated Blu-ray burner.